Now we're going to look at restore points. It's easiest to find the restore point by searching restore point and click create a restore point. So inside here we can see which of the drive has restore points and it is the C drive only in my case. So basically you can undo some system changes and revert back to a previous restore point and it's a safety feature that Windows has. What you can do is you can go into configure and you can see that my restore point is really small uh, but uh, if it's big, if it's like set to 50%, it's probably like 100 gigs or more. Uh, so what you would do is uh, to click delete the restore point. And now it's deleted, fantastic. And uh, then you would, uh, well, set it to a lower value, just a few percent and uh, click apply and OK. And then you'll need to create a restore point. Just write in uh, today's date or something and you just click create and the larger you set it to be the longer it will take to create this restore point and there we go successfully created now what you also can do if you basically back up everything yourself with like macro reflect image stuff and you don't want this feature is to just click configure and disable system protection click apply and yes and then you will have no gigabytes that are used to uh, make a restore point but it's probably smart for most users to have a few percentage dedicated to system restore if something would happen and you would need help from some technician or something but uh, i'll do backups of my stuff so i will turn it off and uh, i got back a few gigs anyways hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in future videos this is your host jim Anism, signing out mm -hmm.